What's going on everyone? You're back with Jono for another quick math lesson. Today we're going to look at how to multiply terms when there is a power or an indice involved. So we're going to start off with multiplication. In this example here we've got 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4. What we really need to remember is that an indice is just saying, hey, this base, this thing at the bottom, is just multiplied by itself this many times. So for 2 to the power of 3 here, what that's saying is I've got 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. So this becomes 2 times 2 times 2. But then we've got 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4. So that means I've also got multiplied by 2 4 more times. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So instead of having these two things apart, as we did at the start of the question, I've just got the same thing written over and over again. So this becomes 2 to the power of how many I've got. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the answer to this is 2 to the power of 7. So obviously we don't want to have to write this out in expanded form every time. That's just a waste of paper and we want to get through this quickly. So the big shortcut for this is you just have to add the powers. So you add the little numbers, but leave the base alone. So for this example here, if I've got seven to the power of two, that means seven times seven, multiplied by seven to the power of 11, all I've got to do to get this question right is add these little numbers up the top and leave the base the same. So the answer for this is seven, to the power of 13. And then even if it's an algebraic term, so a letter as a base, we just have to do the same thing. X to the power of four means X times X times X times X, multiplied by X to the power of 10, means that the answer is just these two little numbers plus together, which becomes X to the power of 14. The most important thing is that the bases stay the same. Don't change them. A really common mistake that my students make in that first example, they'll multiply the two sevens together and write 49 to the power of 13. Make sure that you are leaving those bases exactly as they are. So when we come to division, it's a very, very similar process. Multiplication and division are opposites and addition and subtraction are opposites. So you might be able to see where this is going. But we're just gonna write it out in expanded form, just to make sure. Four to the power of six means that I've got four multiplied by itself six times. And because it's divided by four to the power of four, I'm gonna put it all over a fraction. So writing it out in a different way. And then I've got four multiplied by itself four times. Because this is on a fraction and we've got the same factor on top and bottom, we can start canceling terms out. So the times four at the end cancels out with this times four and that moves down the whole way until we are left with the two spares up the top. That's all that le is left. So the answer becomes four to the power of two. You might be able to see where this shortcut goes pretty easily but the shortcut is you minus the powers while leaving the bases the same. So for this one, nine to the power of seven divided by nine to the power of five, you've got nine as the base, and all we've got to do is minus five from seven, which leaves us with nine to the power of two. Exactly the same thing if it's a letter, b to the power of 11 divided by b to the power of nine, all you've got to do is minus those two numbers, leaving us with b to the power of two. A really important note is that this only works if the bases are exactly the same. Going back to that first example, because they were the same, we just had two times written out way more, and that's why we were able to combine them. But if we add something like this, two to the power of two multiplied by three to the power of two, if we expanded this out, we would have two times two, times three times three. I can't group these like I did in that first example, so there's no way for me to simplify it. I could work out the answer on my calculator, but you don't have to do any work if the bases aren't the same. So this one is just literally your final answer. 
so you don't have to do anything to it. If they are letters, this is a to the power of 4 multiplied by b to the power of 5. Because the a's and b's are different, all we have to do is write these out again without the multiplication sign in the middle, becoming a to the 4, b to the 5. So these ones, when the bases are different, are actually way, way easier because there's nothing you have to do. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you later.